Hello, my name is Derek from Tomcat Gas Training and welcome to this video of 10 gas questions that most gas engineers can't answer without using their books. Now this video is the answers, not the questions. So if you're starting at this video, you need to go and uh, look at the questions first. Don't go cheating, getting the answers first. So let's find out if you can prove me wrong that most gas engineers can't get 10 out of 10 of these questions without looking in their box, looking on the internet or any other training aids they might have. So let's get on with it and find out if you got 10 out of 10. So let's look at this answer for question number one. When can a gas cooker grill on initial ignition exceed 10 parts per million CO for a short period of time? The answer is B, if it conforms to BS 7967 part 2 and manufacturer's instructions. So that was the answer for question number one. Now the answer for question number two, at what levels of CO-CO2 ratio must you take action on a flueless water heater? The answer is A, when the CO-CO2 ratio exceeds 0 0.020. That's the answer for question number two. So are you proving me wrong so far? Have you got two out of two? Are you going to make it an app trick? So let's look at the answers for question three. If no manufacturer's instructions are available, what is the minimum distance a non-condensing boiler can be installed to combustible material in a cupboard? The answer is... C, 75 mil. And that is the answer to question number three. So let's look at this answer now for question number four. If no manufacturer's instructions are available, what is the minimum clearance between a flueless instantaneous water heater and a ceiling? The answer is C, 300 millimeters. And that's the answer for question number four. Now, how are we doing? We got four out of four so far. Well, let's look at question number five. So a natural gas cooker is installed in a kitchen with a volume of seven meters cubed. How much ventilation is required for the room? The answer is B, 50 centimeters squared. And that was the answer for question number five. <laughs> And now the answer for question number six. So chimneys used for an inset live fuel effect fire normally requires a minimum size across its axes of, the answer is A, 125 mil. And that was the answer to question number six. <laughs> And now the answer for question number seven. When installing a gas freestanding heating stove into a builder's opening, the flue must project how far through the register plate? The answer is B, 150 millimeters. And that was the answer for question number seven. <laughs> And now the answer for question number eight. What is the minimum void volume for an online masonry chimney with a gas fire fitted with a flue kit? The answer was C, 12 decimeters cubed. That was the answer for number eight. 
Now for question number nine, the answer from November 2006, CO detectors must conform to C, B, S, E, N, 5, 0, 2, 9, 1. And that was the answer for number nine. And now the final question, the answer to number 10, Current standards categorise an SE duct with which letters and numbers? The answer was... C. C21. And that is the answer to the last question, number 10. Did you prove me wrong then? Did you get 10 out of 10? Are you one of those few engineers who could answer all the questions and actually get 10 out of 10? Really? Or did you cheat? Anyway... What I want you to do is, if you did get 10 out of 10, you clever beggars, get your name down in the comments section below and let's see who did get 10 out of 10 of these questions that most gas engineers can't get 10 out of 10 out of. So if you've enjoyed this video, why don't you give me a thumbs up or leave a constructive comment down below. If you want me to do any more of these, then put down in the comments below and I'll see if I can get some more videos out. If you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, then get subscribing. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because I'm releasing videos uh, all the time. All I've got left to say is, thanks for listening guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking part. And stay in and stay safe guys. Cheers.